Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you about creating realistic cast shadows on any sort of object. But in this lesson I'm going to be taking a guy off the internet, just a Google image of some guy who is standing on a white background and I'm going to teach you how to create a crazy good realistic cast shadow. So I'm going to be starting with this cast shadow man here, this document here. I've saved it on my desktop and now I have put it into uh, Photoshop. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image. And I've already taught you guys how to select the image, but you can use any of these uh, tools here. In this case, I'm just going to use my uh, magnetic lasso tool, my magic wand tool. I'm just going to use my magic wand tool and I'm going to hold shift down to select, increase my selection and I'm going to select around his feet like so, getting all that gray there. And then I'm going to have to zoom in and I want to add to my selection by holding shift and you can see that there's a little plus on my magic wand. Then I want to take away from that selection and I'm just going to use my lasso tool but instead of holding shift I'm going to hold down alt or option for Mac users and I'm just going to subtract from that selection and I'm going to subtract that from the selection as well. Okay, so now if I zoom out, again, notice how I've got my navigator, I can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, in this case, I'm going to zoom out and I am going to make sure that I have a new layer and I'm just going to invert my selection because right now I've selected everything but the guy. I'm going to select inverse and then I'm going to go edit on my proper layer, on the background layer. I'm going to go edit cut and then edit paste. Now it is on a new layer and I'm just going to delete the background layer. I'm also going to name my layer because it makes it super way easier. So I click and hold and I'm just going to call this background. And I'm going to make sure that's underneath the man. I'm just going to call this man and then I'm going to copy that layer. And once I've copied it, I'm going to change the name to shadow. So now I have three layers. I've got the man, shadow, man, and background. Uh, I'm going to show you that um, I want to increase the size of my document. So I'm just going to go to my crop tool. I'm going to add some space around him. I'm using the rule of thirds here. So I'm keeping him right here on the rule of thirds. Um, and I'm going to increase the size so that there we go. Now he is in the perfect spot for a shadow. Uh, I just press the check mark here and now my document size is larger. So on my background what I want to do is I want to create a gradient and in this case I want uh, my background color to be gray 
and my foreground color to be white. And I'm just going to drag my white at the top and pull down my gray. And until I'm happy with it, I'll keep doing it. So there we go. So I've got him. Now it looks like he's in this space. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that there's a little bit of spots where I didn't properly erase it. So I'm just going to get my eraser tool and on the proper layer, which is my man layer, I'm just going to close my eyes on the shadow layer. I'm just going to erase that a little bit. There we go. There we go. I'm going to go up, I'm going to look at my shadow layer, and I'm just going to erase that as well. Okay, so now I'm going to pull my shadow under, actually, I'll keep him up here, and we're going to turn him into a gradient. So I'm just going to, again, select everything but him, select inverse, delete, so there's nothing on my layer now. And now I want to go from a gray to a black. And I'm going to put a gradient on him. Perfect. Now, I'm going to control T, so edit transform, but I want my anchor point to be on the heel of uh, the shadow and I'm going to right click and I want to distort and so I'm just going to go up here until it turns white and then I'm going to change the shadow and move it over there like so and then I'm going to Perfect. Now we've got my shadow, but my shadow needs to be behind the man, so I'm just going to do that, and that looks a little bit better. That looks a little bit more realistic, and I'm going to select, deselect, and now if we look at it, we notice that it's quite a harsh shadow. So what I want to do is I want to make it a Gaussian blur. So I'm just going to blur the edges a little bit, so I go to Filter, and then I go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to go with, um, let's say, a 10 here. Awesome. And then the other thing that I can do is I can change my opacity a little bit. And I'm just going to go with 88%. All right, so now my shadow is looking pretty good. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, and uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to just put a watermark. So I'm just going to put my name on there. So James Ruddle. And I think I want to change the color. And I want to pick uh, maybe a blue, similar to his suit. And there we go. That's a good size. And I'm just going to change the opacity a little bit. And I can also move that to where it's a little bit more evident. Awesome. And then I go File, Save As, and I'm just going to save that as a JPEG. And cast shadow, James Ruddle. I'm just going to do underscore and one word. Make sure that the image quality is the maximum. And there we go. We're done. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the process of creating a cast shadow on a object like a guy. Stay tuned for next episode.
Thanks for watching.